So I'm, uh, I'm Derek. I'm basically a co-founder of the Hub Brussels. Just in a very nutshell, the Hub is uh, working and gathering place, an incubator, and a community for social innovation and social entrepreneurship here in Brussels, which we really opened a few months ago. We've got a space, a great space in Excel. Uh, in this room, there are some members of the Hub in Brussels. And so, uh, together, the hub, together with uh, Positive Economy, we have uh, decided to initiate a, a project here in Belgium. And this is uh, basically the announcement of the start of this project. So, the, the project is officially starting today. And basically, the, the idea of the project is to uh, uh, identify, gather, and promote uh, pioneers in Belgium basically social entrepreneurs that are engaging in entrepreneurial activities with social, environmental, or ethical objectives. So, basically the, the, the idea and the, the, the decision to, to start that is that we all know that a range of social entrepreneurs, a range of individual, individual active uh, in Belgium and working on, on social, environmental, ethical problems project with an entrepreneur in mind, but basically they are spread all over the place in Belgium and we don't really know who they are, what they work on, what, they have, what their activities are. And so we've decided that it would be really a great idea to know all these people, these individuals, to know what they do, what their projects are. And, and basically the, the main objective uh, of, of this project is first to increase the awareness amongst those entrepreneurs, those social entrepreneurs, that effectively they are social entrepreneurs and that they could be models for other entrepreneurs, for other people, for young people. So basically increase their self-awareness. Uh, but also demonstrate that there is something going on here in Belgium, that there is a movement emerging. Well, it's, uh, I would say that this movement is just starting, maybe uh, by opposition to other countries like the Netherlands, in some uh, manner, but the UK and the US, where social entrepreneurship is, is very, very well developed for a lot of years. I think in, in Belgium it's, it's just emerging. Uh, we, we've got the social economy, which is existing for, for quite a long time. But social entrepreneurship is broader, probably, than just social economy. And so this, this movement of, of people that are willing to do something positive, that are willing to somehow change the world, you know, this is really emerging in Belgium, and so we would like to, to evidence that effectively there is that, that movement is existing and that people are there. Second objective is really to develop synergies, you know, exchanges, meetings between this, those people, so they, they know that they are not alone, that they know that there are a lot of indiv individuals like them that are really actively working uh, to do something positive, to, to work a positive economy, so really create uh, exchange, gathering, events amongst those social entrepreneurs. Uh, third objective is to, uh, I would say, create a, a positive image and, and, a, and a dynamic image about the social economy in general. You know, sometimes in Belgium, social economy has been considered uh, as a, you know, subsidized, not very creative and dynamic uh, sector which we don't think is true. I mean, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, there's a lot of great initiatives, and we want to show that. And we want to show that social entrepreneurship and social economy, uh, it's really attractive that it can create great jobs for, for great people with great ideas, and that it's really uh, dynamic and creative. And uh, finally, the, the, the fourth objective is really to to show that, that this social entrepreneurship model is really uh, an alternative model to the, I would say, classical entrepreneurial model. That there is something to do there. That it's, just, it's not just uh, something on the side, but that there's something which can become really big, really attractive, that could be really a great alternative for, for the young people, and that there is not only, I would say, the commercial like classical uh, entrepreneurship, but there is also this idea of building a company, building a project, uh, having an entrepreneurial mind, 
but with a social, ethical objective. Um, so in terms of, uh, we, we've kind of set, uh, I don't like the word criteria, but more like, you know, aspects maybe of, of what we would like for, you know, or what we would, we would be searching for, and what type of individuals we would uh, search for. So, first of all is, is this idea of being an entrepreneur, so have an entrepreneur real mind, so create creativity, uh, risk taking, uh, passion, enthusiasm, hard working, you know, so that, that's one of the aspects of what we, we look for, for uh, with these individuals. Uh, the second criteria is that, that those individuals, they, they should have a social mission. Uh, when I say social, it's social slash environmental ethical mission. So that's the core of their business. It should, should have a social mission and not, not a commercial mission. So we really look at people which want to build a project, build an organization, which this idea of, of having an objective and mission, which is to, to uh, solve and tackle social issues. And, I would say, uh, linked to that, is that those people should also have strong personal, ethical, and values. Because, as I think, as we've heard here from all the uh, uh, witnesses, is that it, it has to start from the heart, you know? It has to start with your own passion. So, it has to be some people, it has to be people who have really this passion and these values and these ethics yeah, as their core values as well. That's very important because if you want to transpose that into your business, I mean, you can't do it really well and you can't do it with uh, honesty, I would say, if, if it doesn't start with your whole value. So that's also something very important. Uh, the third, I would say, aspect is uh, that those uh, individuals are developing or managing uh, an economic activity. So there's this idea of, you know, it's, it's a business, it's an economic activity, but to tackle the social challenges and the social problems uh, in the And finally, is that the uh, organization and the way that they uh, manage their business should be coherent with these values. And so that also within their organization, they use this uh, sustainable and responsible uh, principles so that they treat their people well, they respect the environment, they are ethic within their business. And that is not only, as also we've mentioned, you know, uh, companies that do that only for doing business, but that do that also because they believe it's really important to do it within their business. And so that's not, there's a, a term in English which we call green greenwashing, you know, which is using green and environmental uh, uh, tools not to promote products but which are not really uh, sustainable. So these are, I would say, the four main aspects that we are looking for uh, within these in interviews. So uh, the, the project is going to be, as I said, led by uh, Positive Economy and the Hub. Uh, but the idea is obviously to involve a lot of people here in Belgium. Uh, and first to have a, an advisory concern, which would be, you know, some uh, expert in social entrepreneurship and social economy that could basically uh, help us define the whole concept and, and really have a good view of where we want to go, how we want to define social entrepreneurship, what type of aspects we want to look for. We have named few, but, but we need to refine that. And that, in consultation with people which are really expert, in this matter. Uh, but then more important, I think, is that in terms of the really the identification of all these social entrepreneurs, we really want to work with a lot of players here in uh, Belgium. And being first with the, the regional and federal authorities that, that are active in the social economy, but also, uh, I would say, more the traditional economy, the, chamber, the chambers of commerce, the business network, the, the federation of corporations, universities, and even companies that are interested to uh, help us in, in identifying all these uh, entrepreneurs. So we really want to, uh, to, to drive it, not only for the and, and the hub, but really to involve a lot of 
the, the, the actors in Belgium that are in contact and I can identify it and know all these entrepreneurs uh, around Belgium. And obviously also you know, promote the project uh, with, with uh, media partners. And, and so that, you know, it, it's communicated within the press, it's, it's informed that we know, uh, that, that the press know where we are, and, and that we can communicate also on the project uh, how it evolves. So quickly, uh, just in terms of, of uh, planning, so now it's almost vacation, so July and August in Belgium generally there's, there's not that much going on. So we're going to use that, those months to uh, prepare the project and start also developing the partnership with, with all these organizations we want to involve with. Uh, in, in probably early October we're going to officially launch the, the the search and, and with, a, with a media campaign and really start the, the identification of all these uh, social entrepreneurs in Belgium. And then between October and March, I mean, the objective would be to meet these entrepreneurs, to uh, gather them together also because we would like them to meet each other and then to, to do regular promotion through the media and the press. And the, 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 I would say the, the end of this process will be that we would like the Salon Entreprendre, which is a major entrepreneurship fair in Belgium. We will like gather all those social entrepreneurs, or at least a lot of them, and you know, have a big event around uh, social entrepreneurship within the Salon Entreprendre. So we have a discussion with uh, the Salon Entreprendre, the organizer of the Salon Entreprendre, because we would like to have uh, all sections within the Salon, within the fair, on social entrepreneurship. Uh, and so use that context and use that fair way to, to promote and speak about all the social enterprises. I think I'm done. Thank you. Thank you.